Chandrayaan-3, ISRO still hopeful of reviving Vikram and Pragyan after Lunar Night India's ambitious lunar mission, Chandrayaan-3, is not over yet, as the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, continues to make efforts to establish communication with the Vikram lander and the Pragyan rover that are parked near the moon's south pole. The lander and the rover completed their primary objectives of collecting data and images from the lunar surface during the 14-day lunar day that began on August 20, 2023. However, they were put into the sleep mode at the onset of the lunar night, when temperatures dropped to as low as minus 250 degrees Celsius. ISRO had hoped that the batteries of the lander and the rover would recharge when the sun rose again around September 22, 2023, and that they would resume their operations. However, so far, no signals have been received from either of them. ISRO Chairman S. Samanath said that the agency will wait for another 14 days to see if they can revive them. He said that there is a possibility that the solar panels of the lander and the rover were not oriented properly to capture sunlight or that the extreme cold damaged their batteries or other components. He also said that even if they do not wake up, Chandrayaan-3 has been a successful mission, as it achieved several milestones and delivered valuable scientific data. He said that Chandrayaan-3 was the first mission to land near the lunar south pole, which is a region of great interest for future exploration. He also said that Chandrayaan-3 was the first mission to use artificial intelligence to navigate and avoid obstacles on the lunar terrain. He cited the example of how Pragyan rover detected a 4-meter diameter crater on its path and retraced its route to find a safer way. He also said that Chandrayaan-3 was the first mission to record the lowest temperature ever measured on the moon, which was minus 273 degrees Celsius at Shiv Shakti point, where Vikram and Pragyan are located. He said that this data will help in understanding the thermal dynamics of the lunar surface and its implications for future missions. He also said that Chandrayaan-3 was the first mission to capture high-resolution images of the lunar surface using a dual-camera system. He said that these images will help in mapping and studying the geology and mineralogy of the moon. He concluded by saying that Chandrayaan-3 has made India proud and inspired millions of young minds to pursue science and space exploration. He said that ISRO will continue to work on its future missions, such as Gaganyan, Adifir, L1, Shakrayan, 1, and Mangalayan, 2, with renewed vigor and enthusiasm.